So, just to show y'all it's real, let y'all know it's real out here. Focus, man. Good morning, everybody. I hope that you are starting a nice and prosperous day. If you're watching this in the evening, then I hope your evening is going the way that you would like it to go. So we're just gonna start off. I'm gonna show you where we're at today. So I will just say that we had really good sunshine here and the clouds came in for a second, but I know the sun is gonna come back here in a minute, but I just wanna show you guys the place that I'm staying at currently. And as you can see here, you walk in, you have the couch. You've got a very amazing view of the city of Vinhook here in Namibia. And as long as I've been here, I still don't think I'm pronouncing that correctly. But when you come in, you gotta, oh, hit that like button. I'm putting in work out here. I swear to y'all, I'm putting in work. And uh, just stay tuned. Got piano here. So, just to show y'all it's real, let y'all know it's real out here. I'm about to spit. I'm about to quit. <laughs> yeah, let me quit. <laughs> I cannot play piano, guys, but I wanted to show you that the piano actually is real. It works. So now we're going to go into the pool table room, right? So this is where you can entertain your guests, you know, have some drinks, whatever you like to do, and you can shoot some pool. Then over here, we've got the lounge area dining table as you can see space is not a concern here you've got as much area as you need to do whatever you need right so now i'm going to take you guys into the kitchen we start off we've got the washing machine that is essential i'm telling y'all when i travel and i do not have a washing machine it makes things so much more complicated it's nice to just come home from the gym. You now you can just toss your um, your dirty clothes in there and just keep it pushing. So here we are in the first bathroom and it is an actual bathroom because it actually has a bath. A lot of bathrooms don't actually have a bath, right? And you know, we got a bidet if that's how you wanna keep clean. Again, we have the amazing view of the city of Windhoek and you got your sink and then if you're not a bath type person everybody is not you've also got a full shower here you know very spacious shower i think you could get like two or three people in there if y'all know what i'm talking about so y'all got dirty minds um let me keep it moving over here is where we have the bedrooms so in this bedroom here we've got a desk to be able to do whatever you do at a desk, you know what I'm saying? You might need to work on your laptop or what have you. You got another bed uh, to house some other folks. Then over here, we've got another bedroom. We're not going to go into that one now, but we're going to go into the master bedroom. And this is what that looks like. So as you can see here, you got a, a good size bed. It's very firm. I like it. No complaints about the bed. And we got another in-suite bathroom here. It's small, but you know, it's nice to have options. If someone else is using that larger bathroom, you got another option over here. So, and if you were to open these curtains here, this opens to your private uh, grilling station, you know, barbecue, whatever you call it, out here in this part of the world. In South Africa and in Namibia, they call it a braai, B-R-A-A-I. I believe that's how you spell it. And of course, here you got your stove. You want to do it like that. You got your microwave, toaster, all the essential stuff, man. Uh, you even got your um, 
you know, kiss the cook type thing. I see, I haven't even shown you the best part yet. So let's slide this, this screen out the way. I can show you the best part of the property. So I already told you guys we have this, you know, place to grill your meat. And we're gonna go explore everything here. Cause like I said, this is a, this is a substantial size property and all of this is private. I, I have as this view behind me. This is the outside of the property. I wing it back. And because this is a, a desert type climate, I even see a lizard. This is cool. I know some people don't like lizards, but you know, he wanted to get on camera. So I'm gonna give him his little cameo. And then we're gonna bring it right back out. And we're gonna come back. Okay, so we've got the, the cactus, cause this is, you know, a desert climate. You are going to see desert plants and animals and if you're from the southwest in the states you're going to be very familiar with the the climate here oh wow we got a man <laughs> he was quick i couldn't even get him on camera there was a big bird who just uh he was chilling he was comfortable by my pool and uh he saw i came home and he said hey it's time to amscray it's time to get up out of here because I don't know if he's hungry. So anyway, this is all the extent of the property here. And I'm just going to give you guys the high ground view. I'm taking the high ground, y'all. Give you guys the, the highest view possible of the city. And as you can see, the sun is coming out. You've got sun in this portion and then over here you've got some clouds on this other side of uh the city you know and this is my first time actually coming up here um during the daytime and it's a gorgeous view man uh this is really a spectacular location in the capital and you've got a nice pool here as well so You really can't complain. I mean, what more could the property have? I mean, a basketball court, a bowling alley, maybe, if that's your taste. But for me, this is a thing that I'm looking for in a... <laughs> I don't want to mess around and fall. It's hard, man, when you holding a camera, doing commentary, navigating, doing everything yourself. But just to give you guys a... A good idea of you know how you can live in Africa because a lot of people they have the perception usually people who have never been to Africa that people in Africa are living in a way that is less than fill in the blank and that's just not the case it doesn't have to be you know you have inequality all over the world and it's true that Africa is some parts of Africa uh, I want to be a little bit more precise with my speech. It is correct that some parts of Africa are among the most unequal in the world, especially when you look at places like, now I'm not gonna name any countries right now. I mean, there's so many that, you know, I, I'm not gonna do an exhaustive list, so I'm not even gonna start, but you get what I'm trying to say. Um, but yes, there are people doing well in Africa, very well. And I just wanna show you guys that side as well. It's not always slum tours. Um, even though that side is real and it exists, there's also this. So with that being said, this is your guy, Jay Focus, reminding you to stay focused. So right now, I'm coming out of the Grove Mall. This is the fanciest, largest mall that they have here in Namibia. And it's right here in the capital, in Vinhook. And it's just a really nice day today. 
almost every day I've been here has been really nice and sunny. So if you come out here in December, January, February, you can expect the weather to be like this, warm and dry. So you don't need to worry about an umbrella most of the time here. And I really don't have any complaints, man. Hey, hey. So we didn't have a big meal here, but we did get takeaway. I've got some oxtail and I'm hoping that it's good. This is a popular restaurant, so I'm assuming it's gonna be good. I had some soup while we waited. The soup was tasty. It was like a butternut squash, I guess and they put a little bit of feta cheese in there and I had a mango juice. The mango juice was on point and she got a fruit salad. The fruit salad was good, right? Yeah. She's just making it look like, don't ask me no questions. I'm not here for all of this. Nah, she enjoyed the fruit salad. I had a little bit, it was tasty. So just a little wrap up about this restaurant. It's called Cubata, I believe. It's a Portuguese restaurant. And they actually have picanha here and a lot of Brazilian things, like they have Guaraná, which is a Brazilian soda. And it, um, it actually is kind of like a Red Bull. It gives you, gives you wings. Nah, <laughs> let me stop. It actually gives you a little bit of a boost. Uh, a little bit of caffeine is inside of it. I think more than a Pepsi, but less than like a, a straight up Red Bull. So yeah, you got some options if you ever come down to this restaurant. I can recommend it. The location is great for me at least. So with that being said, we're gonna move to the next thing. What's up? Focus, man.